Hello, so I wanted to make a tutorial on SOLIDWORKS and how to, re really an introduction of how to get started into SOLIDWORKS. So, assuming you have SOLIDWORKS open, you just want to do File, New, and then you got these three icons. So, a part where you make an individual part, assembly is where you use the parts you've made to put them together, and a drawing's more like, more of a technical point of view of how you would go about constructing your um, item product part. Okay, so let's just start with the part. Double click on that and open it up. So the first thing you want to do is really sketch. So you want to draw something out and then use SOLIDWORKS extrude feature and bring that thing into a 3D dimension. So if I say sketch, because I've opened this part up for the first time, it will give me these three planes I can use to draw my item. So top. So I'm using the top plane to draw my item out. So let's say we want to make a, a, a small box. Now this is just a normal box. Uh, it's anchored at the point where these arrows are. So I can do this. So you can apply constraints to certain sketches in solid work. And um, you can make dynamic shapes this way. So for example, if I use the dimension smart dimension tool and I set my one of my lengths to be let's say 70 millimeters and I want to drag this part out it locks in that dimension and since the point here is locked on this coordinate system I can move this in and out so if now I want to use this dimension again and I can constraint this let's say 110 and then now you can see I can't move it. So the tool I actually clicked on to const to constrain my my feature my uh, sketch in this way was smart dimension. So obviously you've got the top one defined and the one on the right defined. Doing this is kind of pointless. So SolidWorks will give you the message saying it's kind of pointless what you're doing because the the dimensions already defined in the other place so you don't really need to do that but you can do it if you want so you can see how my mouse has got this small dimension tool because it's the last thing I clicked on if you want to press um, if you want to get rid of that you can press the escape key and then that will get rid of it um, so now that we have a box defined we can remove the dimension themselves so we can actually delete that dimension so if we press the delete key you can see it goes and now we can go back and change what we want so that's two features or two things that you can do with sketches so another one is the trim entity tool so if you want to trim a whole line from this point to this point onwards you can do that but let's say you have something like this a line that intersects two points and you don't want to delete um, the whole line you just want to delete up to the intersection what you can do is do that and you can see how, how it makes a, a point here where the lines join onto that line and you've cut it you've cut the rest off um, yeah really if you're getting started you're not going to use many other tools uh, maybe the circle tool um, maybe to do something like that and obviously again you can constrain it even while you're drawing it you can constrain it so if I type in something like 50 or oh, maybe because I let go of this you have to if you hold the mouse down and let go of left click it will assume you're making it custom but if you click once and let go of your finger of the mouse then you can type in a, a defined number to define your circle or define a dimension so yeah, uh, another thing you can do is if you hover on two points, you can find their intersection. Or you can, I think because other lines are here, so it kind of interferes with that. But you can see how you can get lines and extend them and find the points that they would extend at. So they're perfectly horizontal. So anyway, let's... Uh, get rid of the mess that we have
So you can see how you have a fully defined shape. Um, well, not defined or constrained, but a shape that's whole. So if you had a shape like this, and you wanted to extrude it, SolidWorks, I think, is intelligent enough to do that, but it, this, this line might cause you errors along the way in the future. So what you want to do, ideally, is not have a line there that dangles. So obviously, in that sense, you'll find it. But if you're making complex shapes, then sometimes you can have dangling entities. And that means that the shape's not fully defined, and it can cause errors further along the lines. But we have a shape defined. Let's just give that a dimension again of ouch, 1110. And then let's make this. So we want to bring this part and we want to push it up. So that's an extrude feature. So we can extrude it however we please. So let's say about 70. So 70 millimeters up. And you can see we have a, a 3D object now. So a box. Now assuming you want to do more to this box than just bring it up, you can also remove material. So what you would want to do is you want to make a new sketch on the perpendicular faces of this object. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make a, a hole here. What I can do is sketch, click that, and then press Control 8 to make it perpendicular so I can see it. And then if I press Control and the middle mouse scroll wheel, I can move it into the center. So now that we have a sketch defined on this face, what we can do is make a, a new object or we can actually sketch the face. So let's define this as 40. So that's 14 diameter. And let's say we want to remove all the way through. So what we can do is feature, we can say extrude cut. And we can say, I mean, you could drag it or you could say something like all through, that means cut a line or cut the 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 sketch we've drawn, cut that all the way through the shape. And then if we press OK, and hey, you got a you got a hole in a cube. Now if you want you can play around with this a bit more. You can you can do something called fillets, which is basically rounding. So if we want to round the shape so just before I do that, there's there's another feature you can do in SolidWorks, which is the left, when you left click and drag to to the right, and when you left click and drag to the right, left click, drag to the right, left click, drag to the left. Yeah. So this only highlights objects that are in the blue rectangle. So you can see only that part was highlighted. And if I do something like that, any objects that intersect the right, intersect the green area are also highlighted. Okay, maybe in shapes, I think it works better in sketches. So if we, let's go into this sketch. So if I do this, you see the whole shapes highlighted, even the lines that are intersected. And if I go from the left to the right, only, only the lines that were in the blue rectangle is highlighted. So if you jump out of that. Yeah, so back to filleting. So let's say we want to do something more to this. Let's say we go into fillet. And we want to round this angle, this angle, or this corner actually. Corner, corner. And let's make this... Let's make this like that. And you can see you've got a weird shape. Yeah, you can also make a fillet around this part. So, so if you want to do something like <laughs> make really funny shapes. Yeah, and that's basically an intro to it. You, from those features, you can pretty much go anywhere. You can make simple shapes. You can make a cup holder. You can make a box. And really just go from there. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.